I can't imagine myself doing anything else than playing music. I saw um, Rich Robinson, the lead guitarist of the Black Crows, play an SG, uh, and th I've been like begging my mom for an SG for like a year, and he was one of those like people that just influenced me to pick up a guitar and like start playing music. First, like favorite band was the Beatles, and just like listening to all their stuff, all their records in fifth grade, that kind of changed me because I realized that that's what I wanted to do. and then we go like chorus. My daily schedule is mostly <laughs> playing with the band. Um, I mean, obviously I go to school and I like hang out with my friends every once in a while, but I really try to fit like as much time in with the band as possible because we're doing some crazy stuff this year and I want to make sure that we're tight and we're ready to kill it every single time. <laughs> I met Jack way before I met James. I met Jack at a local music school, like school like when I was like six and we just were jamming and we really like, we never really thought to start a band because we were so young but then like it really catched up when we were like 12 to start a band. I think it's really changed me that much. Uh, I mean, I, I've hung out with these dudes for forever, known them for five or six years. So it's very comfortable setting to be playing with them. So it just you know, feels like we're jamming like kids. So pretty normal. So. <laughs> Blues greats like BB King, Albert King, Freddie King, all those guys are like huge benders. And I bend a lot and I'm really aggressive with the guitar. That's what I do a lot live. And that, that's one of the traits that kind of defines my playing style. You know, you try to just stay focused on the music. And then like the mind tends to like wander off sometimes into other things, but you just gotta bring it back to the music. And then you get to a certain point where it's just all music and everything else is faded out and you're in the zone. And that's probably the best feeling. You know, if you don't love what you do, you can't make it sound. Because you have to have, if you don't like what you're playing, you can't put feeling into it. And that's the main thing about music, it has to have a feeling. Or else it just sounds like you made it with a computer.
four. I mean, I'm not stressed when I'm playing music, you know? So, it's really the release of stress. So that's what really keeps me going. I get up, I eat, and then I drum for like four hours, something like that, if I can. Um, after school, it's normally like three, because you know, homework, stuff like that. Yeah, there's a level of dedication that the band has. Um, like, we have to lose, like, we have to miss a lot of stuff to do what we're doing, you know what I mean? Like, we miss a lot of school, we miss hanging out with our friends, like, we could be doing a lot of other things, but we decide to do this because this is what we want for our futures, you know what I mean? Me and my bandmates were definitely friends first, because that's kind of what keeps us together. And then, you know, the band is just what we do to be able to do what we love and just be friends. So it kind of just goes hand in hand, but definitely friends first. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go to the end of the day.